President Trump's re-election team taking a brief pause in running TV ads for a strategy review with 95 days to go until the election. The campaign has vastly outspent Democratic challenger Joe Biden to run TV and digital commercials. The Trump team referring to the recent replacement of Brad Pascal as campaign manager telling Fox News, quote, with the leadership change in the campaign, there is understandably a review and fine tuning of the campaign strategy. We will be back on the air shortly, even more forcefully exposing Joe Biden as a puppet of the radical left wing. Biden is running spots this week in six key battleground states. The president won in 2016 and saying spots are going up in Ohio, which the president also won in 2016, and where recent polls show a very close contest. Kennedy, I'll start with you. Do you think it's a good idea to take a pause and reset? I guess better now than the second to last week <laughs> in October. And, and so much happens between now and November. People who hate the president, they're still going to hate the president. People who are wary of Joe Biden are still going to be wary of Joe Biden. Um, I don't even know if people get their opinions and information from campaign ads like they used to. If you remember Hillary Clinton, what happened? She outspent then-candidate Trump two to one in 2016. And last I checked, she is still not the occupant of the White House. Chris, what do you think? I mean, we are still a, a lifetime away from this election, amazingly. And there's a split going on here where the, the Democrats and Joe Biden basically have television ads running all day on a lot of the news networks in this country just in the form of their programming. Well, they're pretending that their candidate is campaigning when everyone knows Joe Biden is not even campaigning right now. He's at home. Donald Trump, on the other hand, is severely handicapped. He's a campaign person. He's a rally person. He gets out there on the stage and gets people excited. He can't do that anymore. He doesn't have the media on his side at all. So what's he got? All he's got is his television ads. It's important for those to get those tight. Otherwise, we're going to end up with two completely different visions, one Donald Trump's and one Joe Biden's deciding uh, what goes on in our country. Yeah. Um, Dagan, what do you think? Was it time to pause and reset with the campaign? Uh, you got new blood coming in. You're going to have new ideas. But I'm going to tee up something Marie has talked about before, is the Trump campaign has yet to really figure out how to define and attack Joe Biden. Instead, what are they going to run ads about Bernie Sanders because he put out that manifesto and that's part of the, the kind of left, left wing of the party? The best ads will be cut after the debates. Trust me on this. There are going to be so many foul ups <laughs> and so many and so many foibles and trips and stumbles during those debates. It is going to be a ad <laughs> extravaganza in September and October. Yes. I think you're absolutely right on that front. Um, and we also just want to reinforce from that last segment, when uh, Republicans offered that extension, it wasn't for four months. I think we said that in the introduction. Those were early reports, but it wasn't four months. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks to our whole panel here.